Hey everyone, it's me Dylan again back here with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Nintendo DS Lite, the revision of the original Nintendo DS. So it's pretty cool. I've had this DS Lite for over a decade. You can tell this is scratched up. It's got the 2006 copyright right here. It's got Nintendo. Uh, this is pretty cool because it opens up right here. And you can put in a Game Boy Advance game, but only Game Boy Advance. That's right. This is the first system to not be com backwards compatible with the original Game Boy Color or Game Boy. That's what it was called. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the DS Micro came out while the DS was already in... I mean, Game Boy Advance Micro was already in, pr uh, was in production when the DS was already in production, so... Wasn't really the first. Also, GBA micros are very expensive, so I'm not going to be reviewing that anytime soon. Unless I get lucky somehow. So yeah, this thing can play uh, DS games. I like to play a lot of Pokemon, if you couldn't tell from my other videos. Also, I'll be right back. Let me grab a GBA cart. This is my Pokemon Emerald cartridge. Just going to show you that, yes, indeed, this does fit inside the Nintendo DS slot. Uh, I do not have a DSi, so we'll not be able to show you that. Uh, the DSi has a big difference between this and that there's no Game Boy Advance slot on the Nintendo DSi. However, it is bigger, so that's cool. Uh, as per usual, it's an old Game Boy cartridge, so I might have to blow on it a couple of times. Oh, no, look at that. Star GBA game. So, yeah, this is your basic interface. You got brightness controls on the screen. Also, touch screen. I'm pretty sure it's the first time it's ever been done on a gaming handheld. Uh, you got an alarm, you got a Game Boy Advance slot, you got Picto Chat, you got your DS game, and you got your download play. So that's pretty cool. All standard features of the Nintendo DS, original DS era. That's pretty cool. It's got a clock reminiscent of the old Game & Watch. It's also got a calendar. Not, I don't think the Game & Watch had a calendar, but if it did, uh, I guess it'd be reminiscent of that. But I don't think it did. I'm pretty sure the new Mario Game & Watch... Might have a calendar, and I don't, <laughs> I don't have one of those either. I gotta get more stuff <laughs> to review. And so yeah, that's basically it for the DS Lite. You can open it up, play Game Boy Advance Cart. Uh, I will note, if you are looking for the best way to play a Game Boy Advance Cart, I would highly, highly recommend um, a Game Boy Advance AGS 101. While yes, this screen does look very good and yes these speakers do sound nice and yes there is a headphone jack um when you're running around as your player character I can't run but I can bike it gets really blurry like just I don't know if you'll be able to see it because I'm not screen recording it but look at the tr look how blurry that gets if you're not don't focus on the player character Brendan focus on the tr everything else because look how blurry this is dude so yeah 100% not the best way to play your Game Boy Advance games if you're just looking for a way to play a Game Boy Advance game but if you are looking for a way to play DS games I'd recommend getting a 3DS as they're just recently stopped making them so you might be able to find them on clearance as they're getting ready to make space for switches so if you can find a 3DS at a discounted price now is the time because 3DS, very good handheld, have had one for since like 2011, 2012, whenever Mario 3D Land came out, that's when I got it. Uh, so, <laughs> a very long time. So anyways, yeah guys, that is my review of my Nintendo DS Lite. That's pretty cool, so yeah. Nice, pretty scratched up though, because I've had this thing for over a decade. But, man... Very durable, very good battery life. Lasts for quite a few hours. You probably be able to play it all day. Like I used to back in the day. I used to play this thing all day. I would die probably around later in the day, so that's pretty cool. You only need one charge to get it through the day. Just plug it in at night, you'd be good to go. And plus, if you got one lying around, Odds are, as long as you charge it beforehand, it should probably still be having a decent charge in the battery left. Because these things don't die when they're turned off. He's got some really good batteries in them. It's great. Uh, pretty cool. As you can see, mine's a little dusty. I gotta get in there and clean that at some point. 
Uh, the way you'll note is if the battery's getting low is that green light will switch over to that dim light and that dim light will turn red and the green light will turn off. So that's how you'll know if it's dying. Well, anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, it's got some nice speakers, but yeah. See you later. And also, if there's any way I can improve this, please tell me in the comments. I'm always trying to be better. Uh, I'm always trying to improve. Thank you. Goodbye.